Hi, I'm Pastor Cheryl, and I'm still missing you, but I'm really glad we can be together this way. A hug for everyone. Hi, Braden Blake and Sadie. Hi, Mero and Marlon and Cormac. Hi, Annabelle and Eleanor. Hi, Logan and Aiden. And hi, Sadie and Sophie and Darby. And hi, Jonah and Colin and Bryn. And Mason and Maddox and Lincoln. If I missed anyone, I'm sorry. Or if you'd like a hi next time, email me at Lindale or call the church and I'll be sure to say hi. As always, we light the candle when we begin. We light this candle because Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Jesus also said, wherever two or more are gathered in my name, I will be there also. So as we gather today, Jesus is with us. And today we're talking about Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is the beginning of Holy Week, the last week that Jesus lived on earth. The whole week is a little bit up and down. That means kind of happy than sad. And that's kind of how I'm feeling lately. I'm kind of feeling up and down, happy and sad, because of this whole coronavirus thing. Sometimes it's nice, and I feel happy about having more time with my family. And then sometimes I feel sad because I miss visiting friends and being with all of you at church on Sunday and at Sunday school when we have our fellowship food together. And then I'm glad because I know we're staying safe and making good choices. And then I'm not glad because I miss our grandchildren and I want to be able to have a sleepover or go with them to the park. Holy Week is like that. On Palm Sunday, everyone is glad. So let's read the Palm Sunday story in our Spark Story Bible. If you have a Spark Story Bible, you could go and get it right now and find the page number 455. That's 455. You can follow along while I read the story. And if you don't have a Spark Story Bible, that's okay too. Just listen. Friends, Jesus said to his disciples, I need to go to Jerusalem. I've got some important things to do and I want to celebrate Passover with you there. Will you come with me? Sure, said the disciples. Passover is a great holiday. Such good food. And what a wonderful story Passover celebrates. The exodus of God's people, the Israelites, from Egypt. It's good to be with friends and family at Passover. So Jesus and his friends started to go to Jerusalem. When they got close to the city, Jesus said, I'd like for two of you to go borrow a donkey in the next village over. Please tell the owner I need it. He'll understand. When the two friends came back with the donkey, Jesus climbed on its back and rode down into the city of Jerusalem. The disciples followed behind him. Suddenly, they found themselves in a parade. People were singing and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, here comes God's King. Hosanna, praise God. People all over heard the shouting and singing, and they joined the parade too. Hundreds of people, maybe thousands of people. They started taking off their coats and laying them on the ground for Jesus and the donkey to walk on. They pulled palm branches down from the trees and waved them as they sang. Then they threw their palms on the ground to make a path for Jesus. The crowd gave Jesus a royal welcome as he rode into the city, just like a king. But Jesus was a very different king. He was a king of peace. Not everyone understood that. Jesus was not at all what they were expecting. And they thought the crowd was too loud and the parade was getting too big. Who is that man? Someone asked. What's going on here? Asked another. The crowd answered, This is Jesus, God's Son. He has come to save us. Some of the religious leaders murmured, Hush, Jesus. Tell your friends to be quiet. It's way too loud here. But Jesus said, We can try to make these people be quiet, but that wouldn't make a difference because today the whole earth is celebrating. You can
can say Hosanna with me. Can you say Hosanna? Hosanna. Can you shout Hosanna with me? Hosanna! Hosanna is a little like saying, hooray, yay for Jesus. It's saying, come and save us, Jesus. We know you are the Lord. Hosanna, hooray. It's a glad, glad day. Now let's sing a song about Hosanna. Let's sing Hosanna. Give me oil in my land. Keep it burning, burning, burning. Give me just pretty much down. There are five more stories in your Spark Story Bible that tell about Holy Week. I'd like you and your family to read one each of the next five days or find it in your regular Bible. And next Friday, a hard and holy day. Next Friday, Good Friday, I'll have a special message for you. So on Monday, let's read the Chief Priest. That's kind of an okay story. Not too happy, not too sad. It's got a good lesson. On Tuesday, let's read the Last Supper. This is about the time Jesus ate with his disciples and had dinner with them for the very last time. And Jesus told his disciples to drink wine and eat bread and that whenever they do that or whenever they receive a blessing, Jesus is really present. That was Jesus giving us Holy Communion. So that was a happy part. It was also kind of sad because Jesus knew that one of his disciples who was eating with him would betray him, would tell the soldiers where he was. So on Wednesday, let's read Jesus is Betrayed. This is kind of a hard story. Jesus is praying in the garden to God because he's scared and worried, just like we are sometimes. And his disciples fall asleep, and then Judas comes and tells the soldiers who he is, and he gets arrested. And on Thursday, let's read Christ the King. Jesus is our King. But this story is about people making fun of Jesus and saying, Oh, you're the King! And they gave him a robe to wear and they put a pokey thorn of crowns on his head. It was not a happy day. And on Friday, read the day Jesus died. But remember, when you read this story, that we already know what's going to happen on Easter Sunday. Jesus rose. Jesus came alive again and lives forever. And we are loved and forgiven because of Jesus. That is really good news. Let's pray about that. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that we can celebrate on Palm Sunday with loud hosannas. Help us remember that Jesus died and came alive again to show us that even death can't stop God from loving us, forgiving us, and giving us life in heaven. We are part of God's story. We are part of Jesus' story. Help us remember that. Help us to keep telling the story and help us to keep loving and serving other people. In Jesus' name we always pray and all God's children said, Amen. Let's sing Hosanna one more time.
for Palm Sunday. And now as our time together comes to an end, watch the light. The light is not gone, it is changed. See how it spreads out, reminding us that when we go out, Jesus goes with us. And reminding us also that we are to go out and share the good news of Jesus' love. I say now, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And you say, thanks be to God. I'll see you next time.